Hey guys, so first off, welcome to 2017! Woo! I know I'm kinda late saying that, but I don't care. By the time I'm filming this and you are seeing this, it's gonna be a week apart. Anyway, I decided to take a little break. I don't know. Maybe like also partially so that I could like buy stuff to review and like hold off on money. So yeah. If you follow me on Instagram, I've had Super Sailor Moon for a while. Yeah, so let's get started. Here's a look at her box. This is the international release, so there's the English warning choking hazard. Small parts, not for children under three years old. What well, says three years? Okay. Then we have a nice big picture of Sailor Moon, and in kanji it says Pretty Guardian Super Sailor Moon. I can't read kanji, it just says it right there. And here's the 20th anniversary Sailor Moon logo. Well, guys, okay. There it is. Japanese stuff, I can't read. There's the silver toy sticker, which usually means it's an international release. Here's the Sailor Moon logo, the SH Figure Arts logo, the Tomashi Nations logo, and the Bandai logo. We have a, a nice clear view window of her and some of her accessories. This is the side of the box. We also have a picture of her in a pose that you can put her in. Here it says, if it focuses, SH Figure Arts is a new standard figure series that incorporates the Bandai action figure art under the theme pursuing character expression through humanoid action. And it has the SH Figure Arts logo again. Here's the back. In the corner, it says SH Figure Arts simple style and heroic action in the nice like rainbow letters. And I can't read that because it's in Japanese but here's another picture of her in a pose and here's another picture of her where she's holding the spiral heart moon rod if it'll focus there you go there's some more Japanese stuff that I can't read and here are all the faces she comes with if you got the Haruka or Sailor Uranus action figure she comes with a special face for her and here it shows that she brings the whole the holy grail or the rainbow moon chalice more Japanese and then here's the other side where she's also posing the top shows her and the SH figure arts logo and her silhouette with the continuing of this background here's the bottom again warning choking hazard and she was $37.95 at Barnes & Noble in Texas. I don't live in Texas, but in July I was there and I got her. So let's get her out of the box. Once you open the box, she comes with this like pink thing, which you can use for pictures. I might use this for pictures for Instagram if I ever get to post. But tucked behind it, there's the instruction manual. You really can't read anything of the instruction manual unless you can read kanji, but I've seen some reviews on them and I know, but here it shows you the different hands it comes with. And focus. And it shows how to remove her fringe or bangs and her faceplate to switch them out and it shows you how to put this the like spiral heart moon rod and it shows her and it uh, shows you how to put on her stand and warning delicate the stand is delicate don't snap it okay so she comes like this in like clamshell packaging and the top part doesn't have anything on it, so you can just remove that. Here is how she looks like. I'm going to try to get a close-up of everything. There's her spiral heart moon rod. 
and her rainbow chalice inside the packaging. There, there's her, and there was the cloth that fell. I'll get it when we go on to the base. And here's her hand tower. And wow. And her faces, and behind that, since this is a separate clamshell, there's the rod for the base. And then, behind her was this, the base. I'll start off by showing you. Here's the base. It came wrapped in this plastic bag held together by a piece of tape. The base is a heart shape, and it has three different plugs. Wait, let me use the backing of this. This will be useful. No, it isn't. Okay. It has one, two, and three holes. These pegs are removable so that you can put in three different rods of the bases. So, as you can see, it says Super Sailor Moon. If it'll focus. Let's see if it focuses better like this. Nah, it was better like this. says Super Sailor Moon and there's a butterfly with a crescent moon and it has these nice little swirls and star shapes around it forming a heart shape inside the heart. Next up we have this. The other clamshell packaging inside the clamshell packaging. I won't take these out, but you can see them in detail inside the packaging. So here's the first face. It looks like she's yelling. Sorry for the glare. Here's her second face. She's more frowning. Here's the third face where she's Kinda of just like regular, maybe meditating. And here are the different hands. Every hand that has two, like this, is a pair. So there's one, two, three, four pairs, and there's three extra separate hands. So the faces have these pegs on them so that you can put them on her face. Next up. Next up is the rod itself. The rod can bend like in the middle and it says not to bend it too hard because you can break it. So you can bend in the middle and yeah. So I'm gonna put this here and wrong way. Okay. There's a bigger end and you Press it until it clicks, and let me put you down. And then you can bend it, and bend it back. If you want to make her like flying, or something like that, I don't know. This is where you would put it. And then now following along with the theme of the base, I'm going to show you the little claw. <laughs> okay. So the little claw is, well, a claw. And it has two little pivot points that you can like move around to adjust to where you are clamping it to. And then here at the back it has a little hole for you to attach here. To Yeah, so we're getting really close to the figure, but here's the spiral heart moon rod. Let me get the piece of cardboard. If I can find the picture of the regular one, I'll put it like 
here, next to it. Yeah. So, I don't know if you can tell, but there's these, like, two little star pieces that, in the proplica, prop I can't speak, they're buttons. So, here's the back. Okay. okay. So, it has a red moon in the center, and two blue gems next to it, and two red pinkish gems beside the blue ones. It has two wings beside it to hold his to serve as handles, and it has a crown at the top. The back just has two blue gems. And now for what you all came for. Her. Dun dun. Wait, let me. Set she her down. looks very similar. To the anime it looks like she just came straight out of the anime she has blue eyes and she's has sort of a blank expression expression but she's she from season three because she one comes with the spiral heart moon rod and she has the long ribbons in season four the ribbons get shortened when she transforms with sailor mini moon she has these feather clip-ins in her hair that are from, like, the manga. But from the manga, she has them from the original one. Oh, that was out of focus. Then she has these, like, Odango covers. Odango is her hairstyle, by the way. She has one on each. And her hair is really long and turns kind of translucent at the bottom. And... Her outfit is the regular Super Sailor Moon outfit, and she has the pink brooch, which I don't think is accurate. I think in the anime it's red, because this one looks like the PGSM one, the live action show. Anyway, she has a red bow, and her sleeves are painted to look translucent, but they are not really. And her skirt has... A metallic blue stripe and more of a matte-ish yellow stripe and she also has a smaller version of her brooch there in the middle let's see if it'll focus okay I can't get it to focus but then she has this giant bow at the back which I think it was more of a manufacturing error something that they could have done to make the bow with like joints up here so that it could move because it could kind of move, but not really. So, since this is an action figure, her hair can move. Whee! Her head can move. And her head can move. 360. And her neck can move. And so can her head. And then she can move her arms. Outward, bend and bend again and this arm is just the same and her bust can move and so can her waist and her legs have the tall legs and they kind of like pull out but I'm more afraid to do this but I want to show it to you Ooh, I'm afraid I'm gonna break her. Have I done it? No. Okay. I don't think I can show you with this one, but there's a pull-out leg to make it so she can kick better. Anyway, she can kick forward. She can bend at her knees and her ankles. And... She looks like she's gonna kick some butt, but she looks kind of weird. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm gonna pose her and be right back with my final thoughts. Okay. So, I posed her like this because it was the best but I could. Besides do. that, um, my, my final thoughts are, 
I think she's a very, very beautiful action figure, and her poses are, like, unlimited. And I didn't use the faces because I don't want to lose them, and the packaging is so nice, but you could definitely use her with, like, the Spiral Heart Moonrod, or, like, the Chalice, but, yeah. So, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year. I hope we can reach that. I'm being optimistic. We still have 11 months and a couple days. But my next video will be Sailor V. Not Sailor Venus, Sailor V. You'll see her in the, in the next video. Wow, this video is running two, 22 minutes long. So, in the next video, I'll tell you what I wanted to tell you here, so you'll just have to wait until then. So, well, I'll see y'all next week. Bye!